peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Yesterday we looked at the answer that James in his letter gives to the Christian church which was facing trials and tribulations. Today we are going to look at Jesus' solution. In Luke, Luke's Gospel, chapter 21, verse 25 to 28, we read these words. There will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. On the earth, nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. Men will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the world, for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time, they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to take place, stand up, lift up your heads, because your salvation is drawing nigh. When Jesus spoke these words, he turned history upside down. Once this had been said, everything that makes up the usual stock in trade of a whole tribe of worldly wise commentators on the human scene is rendered out of date forever. All our habitual judgments and valuations are challenged and overruled by this piercing, dramatic insight of the Son of God. When these things begin to happen, just glance back across the chapter to see what things are meant. It is certainly no description of calm weather and peaceful prospects that meets you here. It is the most devastating catalogue of convulsion, of formidable, ruthless forces playing havoc with the dreams of good men and women. These words of Jesus are full of the crash and thunder of the storm, nation rising against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Earthquakes, famine, pandemic, persecutions, inquisitions, racial hatreds, martyrdoms, the whole world gone mad, and men's hearts failing them for fear. When these things happen, said Jesus, these intolerably grim and harrowing things, these things of which we just do not like to think, when all you can do is helplessly watch the human situation deteriorating and the frenzied strife growing still more turbulent and furious and the tide of violence mounting till it is rushing like a great river in flood, when your own mind is confused and your nerves reeling and your spirit near despair. Then, says Jesus, look up. Lift up your heads. Do you not feel that this chapter might have sprung straight from the background of the present day? Certainly part of the predictions of this chapter were to forecast <coughs> excuse me. Certainly part of the predictions of this chapter were to forecast the fearful fate that Rome was keeping in store for Jerusalem. But this chapter is also concerned with the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And here we find the tremendous message that the believing Christian has nothing to fear. When all these things begin to happen, we can look up, lift up our heads, for our salvation is at hand. But this chapter has far more that points to the future, for the whole world, for all mankind. It tells of the spiritual doubt and confusion that these cataclysmic events bring. When the very foundations begin to rock, that awful hour of darkness in which the human heart doesn't know which way to look, when all our strivings seem purposeless and futile, when these things begin to happen, says Jesus, when the fierce threat is getting you by the throat, that stifling doubt endeavouring to suffocate your soul. Do not despair. Do not weep. Do not fold up. 
when these things come, look up, lift up your heads, for your salvation draws near. With that flashing thrust of divine insight, Jesus challenges and reverses and contradicts our all too human interpretation of the world and of our own tangled experience. I do want you to grasp the thrilling and really revolutionary truth to which these words of Jesus point. It is this, that the same crises, calamities, hours of desolation and heartbreak, which to the natural man and woman constitute a flat denial of God, these very things are actually to the spiritual person a tremendous revelation of God. They shake the faith of one, they confirm the faith of the other. This is the end of everything, says the one. No, says the other, this is my God marching on in judgment and in mercy. And all the prophetic spirits who have ever lived have verified Christ's interpretation and discovery and cry to us today to believe it, for it is true. When these things begin to happen, says Jesus, when all the ways of life are darkened and you can scarcely see the road beneath your feet, when the terrible night is a grim reality and your soul is bowed to the ground beneath the weary load of bitter disillusionment and cares that sap your strength away, then look up. Lift up your head. We will continue with this theme tomorrow. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, help us in these times of doubt, of loneliness, of anxiety and worry, to look up, lift up our head, and find in you the strength, the way ahead, to put our trust in you for whatever comes our way, to put our hand into your hand, to help us in these uncharted waters. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. Go now into the days that lie ahead, lifting up your head. Look up and walk with him who is your help and your salvation. Amen.